Oh, better for worse. Richer or poorer in sickness and in health. There's nothing about making stupid bee videos. A love letter to Wausau. All right, I'll play along. Adrian, why are you sulking among the bees? Well, Nikki, this past weekend I should have been among my open-minded, progressive beekeeper friends at the annual Central Wisconsin Marathon County Beekeepers Association Conference at the beautiful North Central Technical College Health Center in Wausau, Wisconsin. It's a lovely venue in the shadow of the majestic Rib Mountain. Sue Kobe was going to present, Alex Zomchek was going to present. I was going to drive up with my friend Yuki and stay at Kelly's River Place. I was going to meet with Fred and Trevor and John and Ethan and talk about Wisconsin Queen Bees. It was going to be great. Well, what happened? It got cancelled because of COVID. So I have to help you make this lame video instead? You haven't even memorized the lines. I'm a nurse, not an actor. Well, cancelling it was the safest thing. What else were you going to do? I was going to present. Well, what were you going to tell them? Lots of stuff. Oh, go on then. They're watching now. Say what you want to say. What's your message in a minute or two? You mean I can still tell them stuff? Stop pouting. Get on with it. Well, all right then. Well, after going to Apimondia this past fall and a lot of reading and years of practice and giving it much thought, I've come to the conclusion that it's the traditional system of 10 frame beekeeping itself that's one of the primary causes for the Midwest's overwintering problem for hobbyists and sideliners. Why? Because it favors the production of varroa mites at the expense of the bees, particularly through the summer months. Well, what's the answer then? Nukes? Well, it's part of the answer, but there is a bigger problem. Spit it out, I haven't got all day. Well, it's more than that. I'm convinced that a large part of the problem is beekeeper education. How so? Well, beekeeping is often something that someone picks up in middle age. And by middle age, your urgent biological needs are met, you found a mate, you've reproduced, you're middle aged. You said that already, enough with the middle aged. You've slowed down, like it or not, you're more conservative. And the natural tendency amongst people is to judge everything they learn against the first thing they learn. And the first thing they learn is the traditional beekeeping model. Get to the point, Adrian. What are you saying? I'm saying that teaching traditional beekeeping teaches beekeepers a method that sets them up to fail, keeps them perpetual bee buyers, gives them little alternative but chemical treatments, and eliminates the opportunity for a regional bee to develop. Worse than that, the Bee Informed Partnership shows that since 2007, when they first started keeping records, in our region, half of the bees die each year, whether they treat them or not. Okay, smarty pants, do you have all the answers? No, but I have some of them. And with the cooperation of friends and collaborators, together we'll find more of them. That's heady stuff. What else have you got? Local hobbyists and sideliners need to retreat, retool, reboot, retrain, rinse and repeat. Huh? What do you suggest? Well. Job number one is to keep your bees alive. Until you achieve that, beekeeping is dissatisfying and expensive. So teach that first. New beekeepers need to start beekeeping in the summer, not the spring, in the summer with beaks in nuke equipment and local queen cells, then grow them into five over fives for overwintering. Then, the following year, teach them to have their bees in 10 frame equipment, but only for the minimum amount of time needed for honey production and then split them up and go back to winter in five over fives again. That sounds like a lot of work in the summer when folks are going on vacation and busy with other things. Well, it is. But what's the point of a hobby or sideline if it doesn't take any effort? And make no mistake, beekeeping is often hot, sweaty, and a bit stingy. A person just can't throw bees in a box and expect them to survive. If you don't accept this, don't keep bees. Sounds harsh. Perhaps. But what I have found is that if I go into winter with twice as many bees as I need in nukes and my mites are under control, in the following spring more than half of them survive consistently. This has eliminated my need to buy bees. The goal and the point is to raise twice as many bees as you need and have two thirds of them survive. Were well, they going to pay you for this, oh wise one? Yes, but, but not in dollars. Well, what then? Well, 
This is the new currency in Wisconsin. It's legal tender for my tender ender. Mm. Live, Live from, from Hudson, 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 it's Saturday, Sunday, 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 yeah, at least a zipper's up. Oh.